Welcome back to another episode of Cooking with H. Cooking with H. In today's video, we are going to be making from scratch, no packet mixes or anything in this one, from scratch biscuit, but this is going to be the buttermilk variety with sausage gravy. So you might remember we did a video previously, which I'll link up here, but don't click it yet. Wait till the end of this one and then you can go back and compare the two videos and watch that one. And we've got some good views on those videos and we've got some lovely comments on it, but quite a few of you were wanting us to actually try this and making it from scratch. A little shout out to Red Bay 101 who actually suggested this recipe for the buttermilk biscuits. Buttermilk is something that I can always get in the UK, so when I saw it the other day I was like, I'm going to get that. I'm going to make some biscuits out of that. If you do want to send us any recipes or suggestions for something to cook, then you can go to our website, which is www.mrhaitianfriends.com forward slash cooking. And there we've got a designated form that you can actually fill out to say, cook this. And we will definitely have a go. Also, you can send us pictures of any of your food that you want to feature on our website. So you can send that across as well. And that'd be quite cool to be uploaded to our gallery of my good looking cooking. So I'm going to get on with the biscuits first. In my bowl over here, I have got my flour, my baking powder and my salt. And over here, I've got my pre-measured buttermilk. So the other thing that I have is my butter and this is using salted butter. I'm gonna have to get my fingers messy. So I've taken off my rings. Yeah, I might not be able to do this very well with the camera and the phone, but let's see how we go. So I need to cut it into small cubes, this is the butter, and then add it into the flour and salt. Rub it in to make a breadcrumb-like texture. And it says some small lumps are fine. I don't know what constitutes as a small cube. So I know a lot of you did say like that this is quite easy to make. But then a few of you did also, I'm going to use the word commend us for our last attempt of biscuit making, even though it was from a packet, because some of you said you have actually struggled to make biscuits. So I think we've got all different people in the community, some who cook frequently, some that don't, some that've got family recipes that have been passed down, and some that are actually good cooks, but for some reason they just can't get the hang of certain recipes. So what I'm really enjoying about this journey is that we can actually all share recipes with each other and help each other out in the kitchen, because Lord knows we do need help, some of us in the kitchen. Now I wonder if I'm gonna make any mess today. I'm gonna get on with this. So whilst I'm doing this little action, I'm not sure if it's wise that I hold the bowl like this as I'm mixing, but I want you to see that I'm actually trying. If you are new to the channel, and I see you, a lot of you are new to the channel, you are watching our videos, but you're not subscribing. And that makes Mrs H very sad. If you are new to the channel, please consider liking the video. And also, please consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell to be notified that every time that we do upload a new video, so that you don't miss out on any of the fun. I've actually had to stand on my tiptoes here to actually get this in shot, so I'm hoping it's okay. Right, so I've got this kind of breadcrumby consistency now, which I'm going to go with. Right, so it now tells me to slowly add the buttermilk into the flour, mix a little at a time, and keep stirring until a soft and sticky dough appears. I don't know why, I just got a bit of a different expectation of what buttermilk would smell like. I just assumed it would be like a, a lot creamier, but I think it's more sourry, isn't it? If you do want to support the channel further, we do have a Patreon page. Patreon is linked in the description, so please come across and join us over there. You get some fun fat perks, you get some free merch, you get Zoom calls with the lovely Patreon community, obviously with Mr. Rachel myself and Baby H when she does make an appearance. The recipe does say that I might not actually use all the buttermilk because apparently different brands have different consistencies and whether you make it at home or you buy it in the store, you may have a different consistency. I think my consistency is getting 
to where it needs to be. I'm going to hold up, I don't know if you can see both the phone and my cooking, but I think the consistency is about the same. It's looking sticky. I don't know if I want to add any more because I'm worried I'll add too much. Oh, I don't know. Let's just do a smidgen more. <laughs> yeah, now I feel like I've added too much. Well, I need to knead this dough. Flour, flour, flour. Knead the dough until it comes together and is much smoother. Don't be too rough with it or you will create tough biscuits. There is the little saying, tough cookie, isn't there? But we're not making those style biscuits. I find it funny when you have to be gentle with food. Oh, lordy. This is me attempting to be gentle. So now I guess you've got to caress the biscuits. Make them with love. I think I may have added a bit too much buttermilk. Let me know in the comments down below if you think I added a bit too much buttermilk because this is quite sticky. Hopefully I won't ruin the taste but I am going to add a bit more flour as I need because I think it needs it. Hey, it needs it as I need it. Oh dear. Don't worry, you can unsubscribe to the channel if my jokes are a bit stupid. I'm getting in a right mess here, aren't I? Right, I think I've got a better consistency now that I've been kneading it. I'm hoping that that's okay. A bit more flour over here. And I've got the rolling pin. And it says to roll into a rectangle about two centimetres thick. Dust with more flour as needed. Two centimetres thick. Roll the dough into a rectangle about two centimetres thick. Okay, two centimetres is quite big, or quite thick I should say, when it comes to dough. Said like somebody who knows what they're doing. <laughs> right, I'm going to go with that. Oh, look at the state of my hands. And then it says fold one third of the dough on top of the rest of the rectangle, and then fold the remaining third on the last fold. Okay. So there and there. Roll it back out into the same size and repeat. So I guess this is to put air in between layers and so that it has a light fluffy texture. Finally, roll the dough back out. It's actually showing me to cut this afterwards into squares and not into like a round biscuit shape. It does say I could use a cookie cutter, but I'm not sure I'm gonna bother with the cookie cutter idea. Hmm. Right, I'm just gonna cut them into some squares. Can actually see some of the layers I've made, which is quite cool. Finally, it says to brush the top of the biscuits with any leftover buttermilk if available and then I've got to pop them in the oven for 12 minutes or until golden brown. So I'm just going to oh, brush with some buttermilk. I'm guessing these are going to have a completely different taste to the last one with the actual buttermilk. And when I say the last one, I mean from the packet mix that we used. wonder if we'll like them. Just hope they don't taste soury or whatever buttermilk is going to end up tasting like. Right, they are going to go into the oven for 12 minutes. Okay, so I've got my sausages in here. Like last time, I am using actual sausages, actual sausages that I've de-skinned. The reason being is when I looked at the recipe, and again the same website from the recipe, which is feastsgloriousfeasts.com. They said to use any sausages you like. So that's what I decided to do because sometimes I think sausages are a lot more tastier than certain sausage meat. So that can brown up nicely. I better get the recipe out. Now in this recipe, the lady actually says that to us Brits, we think that a gravy that is the colour and consistency of this kind of gravy is a bit odd because we usually have a brown, more transparent gravy. She said, 
she described it as a bit like a bechamel pasta sauce to some of her British friends and they understood it and they were a lot more keen to try it. I was keen to try your country style gravy or just gravy anyway because it reminds me of some of the like KFC gravy. It's like thick and nice gravy. But she did say that think of it like a white sauce or anything and you can add anything to it and she said she's added parmesan, parmesan, she's added onion, she's added various different things into this gravy to just give it a little bit of a mix up. The only thing I'm not going with on this recipe is the ground mustard because I couldn't find any and I might reduce the salt down slightly because from memory I know packet mixes over in the States are quite salty because you all told us and I did add a bit too much salt last time. I might not add as much salt just to see how that goes. Okay so the sausage is browning nicely. I may just let it brown a slight bit more. I took the biscuits out of the oven a little bit early because they started to brown quite a lot. Now I don't think they are, I'll just poke them, I don't think they're quite the size and consistency I thought they'd be. Right, so I think this is going nice and brown. So I'm going to start making the gravy. To make the gravy, add the 25 grams of plain flour, which I've pre-weighed. Right, let's do this. Yeah, I'd love to pretend I'm a professional chef, but I'm just not. I did, at one point when I was younger, want to be a chef. I kind of thought, oh yeah, that looks a good idea. Well, that's until I was a waitress and would then go in the kitchen and see the chefs and quite a few chefs are a bit hot-headed, shall we say, a bit of a temper and I was like, yeah, I don't think that's for me. I don't want to stand in a hot kitchen all the time. I'd rather just cook for myself. Well, I'm Mr H and now Baked Cage. Right, so I've done the flour. It's combined as much as possible. Right, so I need to now add the milk. Add half of the milk. Okay, and stir it until all combined with no lumps of flour. Now I hope, so far, I'm doing all right in terms of technique. But yeah, there was a few tips that I received on the comments last time. So any other tips, let us know. This is going to be something that we will make again and again because we do like them. If this turns out all right, we will be making more and more biscuits and gravy from scratch because it is a meal we like. That looks like I think it should. It says to add the rest of the milk and keep stirring until it's thickened considerably. Then I need to add the salt and the pepper and then we're done. I meant to stir this, but what I'll do is if I just break, this is a little bit of the um, leftover biscuit. But hopefully the steam. I think consistency wise, it actually looks okay. I was getting a bit worried that it might be a bit doughy inside because I hadn't used all of the, um, well, I used a bit of buttermilk, didn't I? I said it might be too thick. So I was a bit worried that it might still be doughy. Consistency-wise, I think it looks all right, but as always, the proof will be in the taste. Now, this isn't thickening quite as quickly as I thought it would. I might prepare the biscuits on some plates whilst we're waiting for that to thicken. Now, the last time we made them, I served it on top of the biscuits, I think, but a lot of people were saying to cut the biscuits. So we shall try and cut them and everything falls out of the cupboard. I'm not sure if the consistency's wrong or it's because I've cut them in the folds, but they don't seem as fluffy here. Not like when I just broke them. We shall see, we shall see. I've just added the salt and the pepper. I did just use ground black pepper, but we will probably add some more. 
when we've sat down at the table. I'm thinking this still needs to be thicker. So I'm going to keep going. So this is what the biscuits and gravy looks like. I took the advice of everybody last time to cut them open, put the sausage and gravy on them and then put the rest on top. I can't, honestly cannot wait for this. <sighs> so these are buttermilk style biscuits. Okay. So the last ones I don't know if they're buttermilk in, but buttermilk is a ingredients not all the biscuits have in it. Wow. I rolled them out as well so I made them slightly differently to the last biscuit so they mm -hmm. may taste different so we just have to go with it. Yeah, yeah. Okay, sure. And you might want to add more salt and pepper because I don't add too much. Mmm. Mmm, that's good. Yeah. You don't need to add any salt and pepper for that. And I add salt and pepper to everything, don't I? Mmm. Wow. I'm happy with that. I think that tastes lovely. Like you said, the salt and pepper, I think I mm. probably got it right there. The biscuits, thinking about it, I may have made them too thin when I cooked them, so I think they should be bigger. Oh, a little bit more puffy, I mean. Yeah, but then they started to burn a little bit on the outside, so I was worried that if I had made them bigger, they would have mm. burnt on the outside and not risen inside. Mm. But, oh. Well, they taste great. I'm really These enjoying be, this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is great. Guys, let us know in the comments below if you eat biscuits and gravy. Yeah, how you eat yours, because some people say they put an egg on top and things like that, mm. which oh. I bet would taste nice, but I'm not sure I want to try that. Mm. This is honestly Lovely. really good. good. I'm so glad Mrs H suggested doing this, because this is going to be our dinner. Again, we're having breakfast for dinner, because you guys usually have this for breakfast, I believe. But I think we like having breakfast for dinner sometimes, don't mm. we? Not like a bowl of cereal, because that would be boring. But something mm. like this is nice, oh. cooked breakfast. If you have enjoyed the video, please remember to drop a like for the video. And like I said earlier, we see all of you that haven't subscribed. I'm watching. <laughs> so make sure you subscribe to the channel. Honestly, lovely. Mm. So Mr H, compared to the last time we had this, which I knew it was a little while ago, mm -hmm. it was a packet mix, Yep. so this is all homemade. Wow. I can't remember what we gave it last time, but I know we liked it. Yeah. I would give this a 9.5 out of 10. A 9.5 out of 10 for me. I think the, the taste is fantastic. I don't think, for me, you didn't need to add, you wouldn't need to add any more salt or pepper. Mm -hmm. I thought it was lovely. Biscuits are slightly different. To the last ones, I think it was maybe a little bit puffier, does that make sense? The last bit biscuit. Yeah, a mm. little bit lighter. Beautiful. I could eat this all the time. Yes, and please let us know anything else that you would add to the sausage and gravy so that we can try that out as well. Mrs. H, what would you give this amount of 10? Can I give my own cooking a 10? Yeah. <laughs> I'm 10. not. No, no, I'm, I'm not. I'm not going to give it a 10. I'll give it nine and three quarters. Oh, well done. And baby H? I know you're not having any, but we love you. Yeah, we do. Yay! And all that leaves us to say is... Take care. God bless. And see you all in the next video.